Well, all right then, on to the big corporate story of the day. Now, Indian IT Bellwether TCS held its 22nd annual general meeting in Mumbai today. And what's interesting is that this was N. Chandra's first AGM since he took charge as chairman of Data Sons in February. Kritika, you were there uh, at the AGM today. Take us through the key highlights. You know, Ron, it's an interesting time because uh, IT industry uh, and most of the IT peers of TCS have already been talking about how uh, uh, the, the Trump administration clamped down on visa, the changes uh, are likely to be and pose a significant threat to the industry. But at such a time, N. Chandrasekharan, the uh, newly elected chairman of TCS and Tata Sons, has said that uh, nothing has changed on ground. However, they are watchful of the changes and there is two things that they're doing. One is they are increasing local hiring and two, they are reducing H-1B visa applications. So um, the shareholders asked uh, Chandra and the management if that will impact profits and margins. They say, and this is very important, they maintain the profit figure and margins for now. Uh, what they are focusing on is to stay relevant for the client. So even if, if it does have an impact, uh, it will be in the long term, which will be offset. The clear focus seems to be digital. They are investing heavily in digital. They've invested in IP across uh, automation, analytics, and several areas across the entire digital gamut, almost $3 billion in revenue, and that pie will start increasing. They have to uh, start reskilling employees. So almost uh, 200,000 employees have been skilled. Now, when uh, he was asked on job losses, he has clarified that they have not fired any employee. In fact, they are hiring. So 20,000 offers have been giving, uh, given out in FY18, and this is the first IT company to officially release the figure for FY18. Net-net across the board, it seems to be the TCS, at least for FY18, based on the commentary given so far, there is a sense of optimism and that could mean that the investments that they have made in digital are likely to pay off. Listen in to what the MD and CEO Rajesh Gopinathan had to say after the AGM. TCS has not done layoffs and uh, does not intend to do any layoffs. TCS uh, sees steady growth and as far as our employees are going, we are actually investing in training, we are investing in reskilling, we have now trained close to 200,000 employees in the digital uh, technology and there's a fairly strong uptake on that. So we continue to remain focused on our employees and we strongly believe that uh, there is nothing called uh, legacy employees, there are only legacy technologies. So we are focused on uh, our employees.